Some people out there believe that this could be the biggest bull market that cryptocurrency has seen yet. And today we're going to talk about the newest story that I found where Fidelity is proposing a spot Ethereum ETF. This is coming off the back of a looming decision from the SEC over a spot Bitcoin ETF that has been proposed by not only Fidelity already, but BlackRock and some of the other largest institutions in the world. The largest asset managers are getting into crypto and I think that Ethereum, especially a spot Ethereum ETF, could spark a massive altcoin rally in conjunction with this Bitcoin bull market that could make the future millionaires of this crypto asset class. Guys, we're going to talk a little bit about where we're at today, this story and why it's so significant and what's going on. Guys, if you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get right in. Uh, welcome back, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report, and Bitcoin is at 36k today, trying to make its way back up past 37,000. Recently, we've had a Bitcoin rally. Which why did this happen? Well, because we've been in a bear market. Things were due for a pump, arguably, and then there was some fake news about a spot black spot Bitcoin ETF being approved for BlackRock, which was false. And so, arguably, we could be due. For a little pullback and ethereum is showing the same thing but i want to highlight ethereum specifically because of this spot ethereum etf that has been proposed from fidelity this came just after blackrock announced that they are proposing a spot ethereum etf as well these are going to be huge guys bitcoin spot etf is about to be approved there's a chance that it's not if it's not then things get you know less uh, attractive for this news here and it is less likely Ethereum ETF would be approved if Bitcoin's ETF is not approved. But it does look very positive. People are saying there's a 90% chance wherever that, that number or percentage likelihood comes from. I'm not quite sure, but it does make sense. At the end of the day, we don't expect the U.S. and major institutions across the globe to really miss out on the opportunity to invest in Bitcoin through these ETF vehicles that are being proposed. I think these are coming. And eventually, guys, I do expect Ethereum to break out. But for now... I do want to point out, uh, the altcoins have been rallying, which has been fantastic, and Bitcoin came up again off the fake news of a BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF being approved. Now, this has been a challenging triangle, as you can see, for Ethereum to break out of, bouncing, you know, back down at thousand bucks up to all the way to 2K, back down to thousand dollars again, up to 2K again, and back down to 1400 and up to 2K again. And guys, I'm going to tell you, this is possible that we see Ethereum come back down to $1,600, $1,700 again, maybe even $1,400. It's possible, guys. Uh, bull market's coming, but remember the reason this rally has occurred for overall crypto market and Bitcoin is because of the fake news from the BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF that happened really, boom, right here, a 44% pump for BTC. And then the overall crypto market, again, here you go. This is the overall crypto market exploded a 40% pump. Some of that, you got some altcoins like Solana, which has been performing very well versus Bitcoin. XRP, not as much uh, success performing against Bitcoin as, a, uh, as opposed to Solana. And then other coins that we've looked at like Kronos have done pretty well, but seem to be cooling off versus Bitcoin. Now, I'll tell you guys this. The total market cap has been going off. We might be bouncing off this level, which, which could mean we get some continued upside. But don't be surprised, guys, if Bitcoin cools off, the overall crypto market could cool off as well. Uh, and what I'm really waiting for is a bounce off this level and another attempt up at the top because it it looks like we may reject this level again to try to break out to the all-time high or excuse me the yearly high for ethereum and really break out into new price action leading into a bull market but when ethereum does when ethereum does break out then we can expect in my opinion an altcoin rally to occur because Ethereum is essentially the king of altcoins. In order for altcoins to pump, you need Bitcoin to pump. Well, Bitcoin's pumped. If Bitcoin cools off, maybe Ethereum and the altcoins cool off as well. Uh, but maybe Bitcoin cools off and doesn't quite go back down to some of the lows it was at. And maybe Ethereum cools off and doesn't quite go back down to some of the lows it's at. Maybe it's just a bounce off support and then up into a new move. And so as a spot Ethereum ETF is being approved uh, or proposed by some of the largest asset managers in the world, we got to wait for a couple things. One, we got to wait for Bitcoin to decide if we're fully in a bull market yet and decide if we're going to break 38K. If it doesn't, we might cool off. Then we'll wait to see if the spot Bitcoin ETF is approved. If so, then we're going to hope that the Ethereum spot ETF is approved as well, which could cause absolutely meteoric rises for 
Ethereum for all coin markets. And it could be very, very exciting. Guys, I do think that the millionaires of the future are watching crypto videos right now. At least the crypto millionaires of the future are watching crypto videos right now to learn everything they can about this market, where we're at, leading into this bull cycle. And that's why I want to provide these updates for you guys every single day, talking about Ethereum, other altcoins out there, Bitcoin, and the crypto market as a whole. Guys, if you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel for more. Smash the like button. And let's remind you guys, as always, yeah, I got to remember, folks, to DCA, HODL. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.